Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this week's plein air painting video. There's beautiful light happening this afternoon, but the problem is that it's like eight degrees outside and it's just too cold to go out and stand somewhere and paint. In today's video, we're gonna check out my method for painting in your car. You can see yesterday I was up in the studio and I didn't clean my palette. Actually, I think the palette looks like a really good, well-used palette at this point. I'm gonna clean my brushes, I'm gonna clean my palette, I'm gonna pack my box of things that I've taken with me, and then we're gonna go out and do a little plenary painting in the car. I have a really simplified system for painting in the car. I'm going to clip the panel onto the rear view mirror with this system that I have for painting in the car. Nothing is gonna stop me from getting out and painting on such a beautiful day. Let's get right into it and I'll show you my whole setup for painting in the car. Here's the contents of everything that I'm going to take out with me. Of course, I have my palette, a painting solvent. Next to that, I have some gloves to use to protect my hands. Here's my painting medium. I've got brushes, palette knives, pencils, a little bit of tape, my value viewer glasses. This is, of course, my little painting pashad. I have spare paint in there. There's also a painting panel inside of here. Below that, I have my value palette. Under that is the tarp that I'm going to use to cover the dashboard to keep the car clean. One last thing, paper towels. Can't leave home without it. I have two clamps from the hardware store that look just like this. We take both clamps and we clamp the 12 by 16 inch panel to the rear view mirror. With these two binder clips, I can easily attach the painting surface to the easel. And this is at the perfect working space. You can see my arm is outstretched. I've got the tarp over the dash and the steering wheel, and I've got my little pallet here. Everything that I need to access is right next door. This little light that's above here is not really working out. I think that the best thing that I could do is have a little book light in here to illuminate the painting. There's a couple things that I would do differently. There was a lot of light streaming in through this window. I do have some window covers. Next time, maybe I'll put up a window cover. And other than the fact that it was a very quick painting session, I think I only got to paint for about 45 minutes. The setup worked out great. Not every painting is gonna work out perfectly. We can take another shot at it. I didn't get paint smudges anywhere in the car. And here's the painting sitting on my lap. So for uh, just a quick impression this evening, I think I was successful. And the main thing is, is that I'm almost sweating in here because I'm sitting in my car. If I was outside, I would be frozen because it's three degrees out right now and i think we'll get out tomorrow and we'll give this another shot when we have a little more time we'll have a little more time to paint tomorrow before the light fails but so far so good this morning we're headed out to paint in the car one more time i went out last night and the effect of light was awesome However, I didn't get out with enough time to really do what I set out to do. I only had about 45 minutes to paint. And so today I thought I'd film one more video in the car to try and get a decent painting done for this YouTube video. It's the same setup as yesterday. I've got all of my things here in this box. 
I've got my pallet, which is preloaded with paint. The same stuff that I had yesterday. It's two degrees outside and the windshield is still unthawing, so I got a minute here. I just wanna show you how the easel part works for this. What I have here is a 12 by 16 inch panel. It's just masonite or hardboard, however you wanna think about it. Now here's my painting surface. This is a piece of primed hardboard panel. Actually, the 12 by 16 is a piece of primed hardboard panel as well. I'm using two binder clips to clip it here. And then I'm using these clamps from the hardware store to secure it to the rear view mirror. Now this is in place, and the good thing about using the binder clips is that if I wanted to, I could move this up or down, and it gives me a little room to play with for setting this up. The rear view mirror swivels a little bit, and that's the basic easel setup. I've seen people create easels that attach to their steering wheel. Once we get to the location, I'm gonna put a tarp over the steering wheel and the console, just so that I don't get paint everywhere. In the box is everything else I need. I've got my palette, I've got my brushes, I've got my medium, I've got my painting solvent, I've got my value palette. I've got my little box that includes extras of all my paint. I've got gloves, I've got tape, I've got a pencil, I've got a spare knife down there. All right, the windshield is thawed off enough. Today, I'll probably be sweating by the end of the painting session. While this beautiful sunshine is out, why not take advantage of it? And that's the reason that we're getting out today in the car to paint. There's the scene that I'm painting, and here's the lay-in. Happy with where the painting is headed. Nobody's come out to kick me out yet. You can see I'm kind of blocking their driveway a little bit, but we're gonna keep it moving. finishing up. I've been painting for an hour and a half or maybe two hours and this is what I came up with. So that's painting in the car without destroying everything and I did get a couple smudges over here on the door just from my brushes flying around but for the most part because I painted with the tarp over everything everything worked out pretty well. All the, the clamps didn't give out and the easel didn't fall off or anything like that. So thanks so much for being here. Let's check out some sledding. No! 
Okay. You are going backwards. I know, and then I wiped out. Ah, this is not easy. <laughs> okay, okay. Winter is a great season for plein air painting, especially if you're like me and you live in a snowy climate. In my winter painting videos, we're gonna cover everything that I know about painting when it's cold outside. So keep it right here. And we'll have a new winter snowy painting video every Friday.